Just one game then in Spain on Friday. Atletico Madrid, 3-0 winners over Mallorca. It leaves Atleti comfortably in third place, eight points away from missing out on the Champions League. For more, we welcome in Shaka Hislop to the show. Shaka, pretty quintessential Atleti performance, maybe outside of Alvaro Morata actually finishing his chances in the first half. What would you make of it? Exactly as you say, Sebi. This is typical Atletico Madrid. Nothing really to phone home about. They do as they've always done over recent years. It's ugly, it's boring, but it's effective. And, you know, given their, their position in the league right now, they're not going to finish fourth. They're not going to get up to second in Barcelona. They're just kind of chugging along, doing as, as they always have, as effectively or almost as effectively as, as they always have. Um, and this, is, this is Simeone and Simeone's team, and it's not going to change, sadly. Shaka, you call it ugly and boring. I have to remember last summer. Atletico Madrid beating Real Madrid here in the United States 7-3 in preseason. We thought we were going to see a swashbuckling Atleti in the year to come. What happened? Is that a reflection of the players they have or don't have? Or is it just down to Diego Simeone? I have absolutely no idea. I remember doing an interview just after that 7-3 performance and someone asking me who I think would win the Champions League and I said I think Atletico Madrid have as good a chance as, as any. And look how, how that's panned out. It, the team looks so much more promising. You'd seen a more attacking Diego Simeone or wanting to evolve over, over the last couple of seasons and then João Felix gets signed and for all the money that, that he spent, and he looked worth every single penny of it. Contrast that now to the forlorn figure that he cut on, on the sidelines once, once he was brought off. And it, it kind of tells the story of Atletico Madrid preseason and Atletico Madrid now. Look so promising, so, so exciting, um, and, and yet now it just seems a little bit flat. Now, listen, Atletico Madrid finishing third behind Barcelona and Real Madrid is, is not disappointing by, by most people's standards. But given what we've seen, given what we were hoping for and maybe expected, it, it just feels that way. And it's, it's tough to put this all on the shoulders of João Felix, regardless of his price tag, because he is so young. And maybe the best is still yet to come for him and for Atletico Madrid. But as of right now, the team just regressed to who they've always been. What about Champions League? Shaka, we know that they're through to the quarterfinals right now. They're getting 12 to 1 odds. But you just imagine them playing against better and better competition, kind of hanging on. Do you think they have a realistic shot to win the Champions League? Well, 12 to 1, uh, I think, speaks to who Atletico Madrid is and, and, uh, and, and to the fact that it's going to be one game now. It's, a, it's a pretty much a one-game elimination. And anything can, can happen in, in, in that one game. Right. Do I see Atletico Madrid beating any of, of the teams that remain in the competition over two legs? No. But I didn't see them beating Liverpool over two legs either. And yet still here, here we are, here they are. And now it's down to one game where Atletico Madrid, we know, can stifle the light, life out of any opposition over 90 minutes, over 120 minutes, and then who knows if, if, if it goes to penalties. There is, is so much more... Um, wiggle room, so much more opportunity for, for the underdogs. And not just Atletico Madrid, whoever it is, for the underdogs in, in, in these upcoming ties over the one leg than over two. So yes, 12 to 1 is, is good odds, but I don't think you'd get that short odds if it were over two legs. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.